<gasps> Boom! We did it! <gasps> Maxed out the singing skill! Yes! <gasps> I think I did it! I think I did it! Yeah! I'm a hall of famer! Hey my little peaches, welcome back to another video and can I just say we got that cross pollinary shrimp wrong word going on again because it's a rainy grim day in Sims. It's actually a thunderstorm. I just saw lightning and also the weather has taken a turn in the UK. It was a beautiful Easter weekend and now it's just grim. So we do be matching again. We do be matching again. But we are back with another episode. Oh, no, 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 no. Another episode of no, 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 no. Please do not do this. You know what? I haven't wanted to do this mainly due to laziness more than anything else. But I think at this point, I gotta cut this girl off. I've gotta nip this in the bud. I mean, it's not even a bud now. It's basically a full brown tree. I've gotta nip this in the oak and go ahead and make it so that us to just be friends. I need this girl out of my life. She's too much. Catherine, you're too much, babes. I am kind of thinking this could be our final episode of Ash is Not So Berry Story. She's got work tomorrow, of which I feel like we're going to be promoted because I've done all of her skills. She's almost also maxed out all of her skills as well. So I think this could be our final, final episode. I would also like to thank you guys in the comments from the last episode for reminding me that we have to be good friends with all of our children. As Ash with Celia, we are really, really close. With Leela, we're really, really close. Brenton, we're really close. Surin obviously is only a baby. However, we're already good friends. So she's actually nailed that part of the Not So Berry Challenge as well. And Catherine Bailey is trying to steal our money. What an absolute pure rat. Okay, you know what? I need you to leave, please. I need you to get out out of my life right now. Just go away, Catherine. No one wants you here. Leave. So yeah, guys, join me for our final ever episode of Ashes, a part of the Not So Berry Challenge. Before we move on to Leela, who is heading in to her fast food job, which she has to do as part of her part of the Not So Berry. Leela is also, she's about to head into mid-teenhood. I actually swapped over to the, some of the other generations in childhood. So Leela will come into a little bit later, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit a pop pause because we need to do some calculations, some studying some very important mathematics for the sake of Leela. So before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this episode, please don't forget to give it a cheeky little thumbs up. As always, I really appreciate your comments because you've helped me out so much with this challenge. Loads of little neat tips, tricks, and hacks to help me out a bunch with Not So Berry. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. And also, if you're still enjoying this series, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribed and I hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Well, the next part of the series, which will of course be Little Leela Berry. So just as a reminder for Plum, one thing that you guys were like, you need to start planning this out because we've got to master two, master dance and two of the skills. Mastering is maxing out the skill. Now, there's a little tip, trick, hack, cheat. I don't know. I want to hear your guys' opinions on this, but some of the skills only go up to level five. So I actually think dance is one of those. Some of the other ones are bowling, level five skill. Culture, level five skill for Salvadoria. Skating is also level five skill. That's actually from Sims 4 Seasons. So that's that's the ice skating or the rollerblading skill as well. So those are all the level five ones, which we could throw in to make things a little bit easier. But what I was also thinking is, we know that we'll have to go in to the doctor career and then into professional dancer, which is basically the entertainer career. For the entertainer career, we don't have to max it as part of our job. It's not part of the rules, but we do have to, if we want to do well at this, reach level 10 on the piano and level eight in guitar or violin. So that's something to bear in mind. Also, so for doctor, you don't specifically need any like skills, I don't think, like logic or anything. But the one thing that's useful is you can upgrade the machines to make them analyze patients faster. And for that, we need handiness. Handiness is also just a pretty useful skill to have for fixing stuff around the house anyway. So I'm kind of trying to work out what these other skills should be because we need at least level eight and six skills. I'm kind of feeling there's more of a guitar player than a violin. Also, Saj Sam plays guitar. He brought it with him when he moved in, so it could be kind of a nice father daughter thing. Piano, guitar, handiness, that covers three so far. Cooking is an easy one because you cook all the time so that kind of makes sense as well. And I wish dancing upped your fitness because I feel like it should do, right? It's kind of annoying that it doesn't. But yeah, let me know which other ones you guys recommend in the comments below. So for now, she's at work. She already has this renaissance sim aspiration of which it wants her to do logic anyway. <gasps> What? So this right here is Cecilia's 
boyfriend and also father of her child. Hey, Leila, I have a really big crush on you. I really hope you feel the same way. Sorry, but hard no, because you are actually dating my sister. Oh, okay, this is very weird. My sister's pregnant, by the way. Pregnant and now also worryingly has a plane away from home partner. Does the partner know about the baby yet? Maybe not, but still very disturbing. But yeah, I'm thinking logic as well because Leela has to do logic as part of this renaissance sim thing. So that kind of makes sense too. And then also new to the scene in this very elaborate bedding situation is of course little baby Soren, who is so freaking cute, so adorable. You guys actually helped pick the name for this on Discord as well. Yeah, just very cute energy. I can hear such some crying somewhere maybe, which is good because uh, crying some is living some as we learned in the last episode. <gasps> And Sam got promoted! Sam, you clever baby! Look at that! Surviving and then also getting promoted. We love that for you. So, for Ash this episode, one thing I need to be in a bunch of is actually singing. Because I need to max up my singing. My singing is currently at level 9. 5% into level 9. And then the other one is parenting, which I feel like will be easily completing today if I just interact with the baby a bunch. So, all I need to then do is get her promoted and Ash is Done! We did it! Oh, oh, baby crime! Ash, I need you on this for that level 10, my love. Let's go ahead and do a little feed and some little rocks and snugs. The whole shebang. And does just interacting with the baby increase your parenting? I feel like it should. Yeah, it does. 86% complete! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, woman? Are you kidding me, woman? We just had a massive fallout and I kicked you out and you're back. I'm kind of leaving you out there. I'm going to really hope you get struck by lightning because you are annoying! But yeah, we got a text last episode, didn't we? From Arturo, Arturo Sates, who asked Brenton out on a date. I think they went on their date. I think it was like a rabbit hole date, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe we invite him over today, give him a little CC up and get to know him a little bit. In fact, I might CC him up now just in case he's got some horrible traits that we don't know about. Okay, here he is. Are you like married or anything already? No, you're not. Okay. This outfit is interesting, but... <gasps> Why do you have elf ears? Why do you want to become a master vampire? Recycle disciple, knee and hates children. I don't know why he's got elf ears because he's not an alien. And um, this is meant to be alien specific. Other than with Leela, hers are inherited. Oh, maybe you are part alien. Okay, I will allow it. I will allow it. Okay, so I've just thrown on some real quick CC for him. I also don't like hate his traits. I think like, other than the fact that he wants to be a master vampire, which I'm not going to discount for him at all. I think that's, that's very relatable, you know? Who doesn't want to be a master vampire? Ooh, and I didn't realize I had this coat separate. How cute is that? Okay, there we go. Archiro, who is interested in our one and only Brent. Brenton? Brenton. Brent. Brennan? Brenton? Brenner? Brem, 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 What's he called again? So, it's just a little casual Thursday. I wish I could do rabbit hole dates because I want to, like, send him off on a date with that guy, but I don't really want to join him because I'm like, I need to try and focus a lot on what's going on at home right now. And how is this level nine singing? La, 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 la. Like what? I know you're very tired, Ash. But how is this level nine singing? I don't understand it. It does not sound like level nine singing to me. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, maybe you sing until like midnight and then I'll let you go to bed. Leela is back home. Oh, you're stressed. You are very stressed and desperate for some fun. Running in from that rain. Why don't you just go and have like a bit of a dance before bed just to put you in a better mood, my love. Get boogieing. Get boogie and go on. There you go. There you go. And then you also need to do your homework before school. I feel like if you want to be a doctor, you're going to have to get a gray day. You just are. Why do my sims... Has anybody else got this? Why do my sims want to yell at each other all the time? It's really stressing me out because it makes everyone hate each other and I don't think they actually do. The game is just making them yell at each other all the time. One other thing that I am going to do that you guys suggested is we keep Celia in the part-time job because she's about to have a baby. So it makes sense. She's also good at her job and she enjoys it. And the other thing you guys have been suggesting a bunch and I really want to do this is I want to make a build that's like a trailer-esque or like some kind of tiny home connected to a car that like Leela wants to like travel a little bit more so we can kind of travel where we live. We can kind of travel where we live. What? We can travel to the other neighborhoods and I think that'd be really fun. However, I don't think we can do that in the doctor part of her life. I think that makes sense in the entertainer part of her life. Like she travels for shows and stuff and that's kind of where she really, what she really wants to do. So while she's a doctor, we'll just go for a tiny home with Max and skill building and oh my gosh singing goes up so slowly getting to level 10 is a pain <gasps> 
And boom, Leela's already maxed out the dancing skill. And she's still a teenager, so I call that a giant win. And Saj Sam is still riding that whole, I survived death, thanks wifey, you're amazing, hi. Although that still worries me, he's only safe, honestly, when he is in full Saj Sam mode. How did Saj Sam die of laughter? That is the bit I still don't get. The irony is strong. And yet, we're woken up at 3am by a crying baby. So let's do a little diaper change. I need you to do this, Ash, because I need you to max out your parenting. So, Saj Sam, please do not try and get involved. <gasps> We did it! Okay, parent in level 10. That means all I've got left to do is the singing and get promoted at work. We are literally nailing this, guys. This is like the final grind for Ash as part of the challenge. Ash, by the way, whose hair I've let grow out a little bit again. I keep changing her hair every episode. It's fun. I like it. Oh, and I can now do this super efficient baby care thing. So I think it just fixes all of their skills and one uh, all of their needs in one go, which is obviously amazing. Oh, and while we're looking after Bubbleroos, Sam is up doing his usual little nighttime. He loves a good nighttime treat. He likes raiding the fridge at night. Again, honestly, very relatable. I also enjoy a good raiding of the fridge, but also 4.30 a.m. Not ideal. Also, this kitchen is kind of gross. So while you're eating your little cheese and ham sandwich, Ali would be loving that. Please also do a little clean. Thank you. And little Brenton is having his poor little butter breakout. So why don't we do weekly treatments for you, my love? There we go. And Celia's up reading maybe like a parenting book. It's almost super Siren's birthday. Oh, Siren's gonna age up in today's episode. Exciting. Grab some foodies because we will be telling um, Dylan about the baby today. Dylan though, who I'm now like feeling a bit icky about because he likes your little sister. I know to tell him about the baby, but then also be like, by the way, it's over. By the way, you're gonna be a father. So you probably shouldn't have messed that one up. Just such a shame because I really like Dylan, but he's honestly just showed his butt and we don't like him anymore. But that doesn't mean he doesn't get to be part of his child's life, you know? And I'm gonna get the siblings to celebrate her pregnancy. Oh, you can't do it. Do you have to announce it to them first? Maybe you've not told them. Also, look, he did his little face mask and then he asked... Celia, do you think I look nice today after doing a skincare? And she's like, yes, you do. So we can have siblings that work in harmony together. It's difficult, but it can be done. And look, Brenton has never really been comfortable around his relatives. He doesn't get on amazingly with Leela. We've kind of realized there's a lot of rivalry between these two, but I'm trying really hard to make it work. I feel like Brenton's older and this rivalry went on while Leela was still like a little kid. So there is a little bit of an onus on him to kind of be like, you know, try and make things right with his little sister. But right now he's just raging. Which is a little bit worrying because you're heading in to be a doctor. But there we go. These two, however, get on really well and always have done, which is pretty ideal because they share a room. So, okay, you're feeling focused, which is great because I could do with you learning a skill. In fact, you know what? Why don't you cook breakfast? That will be a good skill to learn. Why don't you serve pancakes since they are the most expensive and also the best? And you are practicing your singing. What are we at now? Come on. Come on. Man, singing so slow. 38% and she's just been singing nonstop for about a week now. Honestly, very worrying, but... <gasps> and this is broken as well, so I kind of need you to try and fix that. Will this kill us? I don't know. Let me just do a quick save. <gasps> and she fixed it. Boom. Right, now please go ahead and get to school because I need you on an A. I need you to be a grade A student. Thank you. And oh no. Maroon from lack of ocean activities. Oh, I forgot you want to move to the ocean. And feeling sad. Okay, let's go ahead and invite around Dylan. Oh my gosh, this is just like the sad series. Everyone in the series is so sad all the time, but we're going to invite him in and then using the memory system, I can talk about the pregnancy, be like, look, you are going to be a dad, which is obviously a really big deal. Oh, I feel bad breaking them up. I feel awful doing this, but he also definitely text Lila. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask to just be friends. Like, I think it's best for the sake of this bubble of root if we're not in a relationship. Oh my gosh, she just completely deleted that request. She's like, no, I'm not doing that. It's fine. It's not fine. He hit on his sister. Ask to just be friends, please. Thank you. And then if they decide to rekindle things again after that, fair enough. But at least I've gone ahead and like broken them up, you know? Okay, there we go. They've cooled off the romantic part of their relationship. I've done all I can. I'm gonna just leave them to it for now. I did plan on 
her moving them both out, potentially to Solani because she wanted to live by the sea as a couple together and then she'd be out the household. But I kind of can't now, can I? I kind of can't. Oh, and Cecilia's going in to take care of him. Okay, this is good because you will start to build up your uh, parenting skill, which you're gonna need. And Ash is singing in the shower. She's now at level 56. We're more than halfway there. We are more than halfway there. She's still vibing off getting married. Cutie butts. And we've got work in an hour, so hopefully we're gonna get a promotion. In the meantime, though, <laughs> singing away. Singing away. Maybe Leela needs a singing skill for the entertainment career, too. She kind of, like, she's gonna learn to sing, dance, play the piano, play the guitar. She's gonna, like, learn everything. She's kind of almost gonna be, like, a... I guess she is, like, a famous pop star kind of vibes. Would you have the violin? Such Sam, where is your guitar? Such Sam does have a guitar. And I feel like if you're on stage, guitar more than violin. Like, you don't really sing and play the violin, do you? So, I think guitar makes the most sense for her. Oh, and Lila's inviting over her school friend, though. This is, like, a friend she's met in school. Which, okay, you look... You are a full-grown adult. Please don't pretend that you're a teenager. Why are you in school? You look 60. Leave. Leave right now. And it's time for us to repair all the toilets in the house to up our handiness skill. Nice. Oh, another good skill for her to level up would be wellness, yoga. That makes perfect sense, especially since she's a dancer. It would be useful for her to have good flexibility. Let me know what you guys think about yoga as well. And you need to get your butt into work, I'm afraid. Right, go get that promotion today. Please get that promotion today. Okay, and while that's happening, you've got your little skincare mask on, cute. Let's go ahead and invite over Archero. Archero. Hopefully I'm saying Archero's name right. Who did Dylan not flirt with? Jesus, Dylan. And we're in our scrubs right now. No, honestly, I feel like the scrubs, the scrubs are a vibe. I'm gonna stay in the scrubs. And I kind of like that our house is a house that always has people in it. Like there's always people outside of my family in this house. And I think that's really nice. It's the kind of house where people always like feel like, oh, we can pop over to Ash's house. Like it's like a second home kind of vibes. There's always people here. Today it is none other than Archie. And they're both young adults as well. Love that. I am gonna try a little blow kiss. You guys have already been on a date. So, you know. Oh my gosh, and you're not doing this to me, Brenton. Brenton has unlocked the single and loving it lifestyle. Literally right as I'm about to get him a boy. For, are you joking me, game? Are you actually joking me? Why would he get that? I don't understand why that would be happening. <gasps> I'm not into men. What? You must be on a date. Why are you telling me that now? Are you kidding me? I'm very serious about you. I'm not into men. What is your game, Archua? I don't understand. I don't understand what your game is. I genuinely just don't get what game he's playing. He asked us on a date. He says he's really into us, but he's not into men. Maybe he's just into Brenton. That could be kind of what he's talking about. That's kind of what he's getting at. And Ash got home from work, but did I get promoted? I didn't get promoted. Are you kidding me, game? No, I think it's because I sent it into work so late. Never mind. I will spend my evening practicing and singing. And Leela, you're back home as well. You can go ahead and serve dinner so you can practice your cooking skill. Oh yes, this is definitely what not into men looks like. I think he's into Brenton. I think like maybe not usually into men, but is into Brenton. So I mean, right now it's definitely one of the healthier relationships going on with the children because things aren't looking so hot for poor Cecilia. Celia, I keep saying Celia, but she's just Celia. Oh geez. Little huggins going on as well. Very cute. However, now you're single and loving it. So like, I'm scared to put you in a relationship because I don't think you're gonna like it. Oh guys, it's about to happen. 97, we're so close. And then after this, just get promoted. You're in work tomorrow, right? And then boom, Ash is done. And we'll be able to age up. Oh, <gasps> Max down the singing skill, yeah! That one took so long. That one really was a struggle. It genuinely was quite hard. Once we do work, we're done. Bish, bash, bosh. And I'll be able to age up a little Surin, which I'm excited about as well. Um, I think I'll save that for tomorrow. Or should I do that now? It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Turns out, no, I won't be doing that now. And it's Surin's birthday. And also a big summer blowout. Oh, we can actually buy some stuff for the garden. We've never done that before. However, please don't let this cancel out her going to work because I will actually scream. However, what do you need a water side, a barbecue, and some drinks. Why not? You guys have earned this, honestly. So I've gone ahead and moved over at Vernon's grave a little bit. I miss Vernon. And then we've got a little barbecue and a water slide for today as well. So I'm kind of thinking, oh wow, you're super pregnant. Are you in your third trimester? Third trimester in five hours time? No, 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 no. No, 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 
no, I'm gonna blame that on pregnancy hormones because it's because I never adopted as daughter, did I? Adopted as care dependent. I didn't get a chance to do it before they aged up. But yeah, Celia just was finding some attractive. No, we're just gonna push that out of our brains. And Sam's helping you out with your homework. And then you are gonna do our barbecue because you wanna learn your cooking skill. And then I kind of feel like it's like a day over when Surin was meant to age up. So, I'm thinking while it's daytime, because I'm gonna have to head to work in the afternoon, I think we go ahead and age Surin up into a toddler so that um, little Surin can enjoy the big summer blowout barbecue day as well. <gasps> Oh my gosh, just eating the baby into the sky. I see how it is. Okay, here we go. Siren is about to age up. We'll get to see what they look like as a little kid. And since they're not going to be the heir, I've decided, I think you guys made some good points about Leela's. We've already kind of aged her up with those traits. And also, if Leela's the heir, it might actually mean that Ash gets to meet her grandbabies. And I think with Siren, that's probably not going to happen. So with Siren, I'm kind of going to use more randomized ones. We've got Charm of a Toddler, which is great. It's probably the easiest toddler trait to go for. And in terms of hair color and stuff as well. I'm going to base it a little bit more on the parents. So black and gray hair, we're probably going to end up with, I think maybe Sam's hair comes through and we go for a dark haired toddler. So let's go ahead and check out little Surin in Cass with these little charmer skill. He aged up naturally with brown hair and blue eyes, but I am going to tweak that a little bit. Sam's eyes are brown. I kind of want maybe Ash's, you know, Ash's children are meant to have the same eye color as her. Uh, sorry, the same eye color as her gen. So I will let the gray eyes carry over, but then I think we'll go for Sam's hair. And we got the ears. The ears have been passed on again. Other than the ears though, I'm genuinely seeing a lot of Sam in this kid. So I actually decided on these eyes instead because I feel like they're like a good mixture of brown and bluey gray. And I just kind of like that combo. I feel like we did something similar with uh, Jasper. So I thought that would be kind of cute. I feel like this child when it ages up is going to look really some and uh, not very ash. But I guess we shall see. But at least he'll get to join in with the barbecue celebrations today. I can't believe he got the ears. It's in Ash's line, so I'm going to keep them. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of little baby Surin in the comments below. Oh, and look at that. It's the uh, curse of the ever-changing hair color. Just ignore that. It's an annoying bug I have in my game. It actually drives me completely mud. But when I first started living in this house and we were like fishing over here desperately trying to like get enough stuff to be able to sell, to be able to buy a toilet and all of that kind of thing, I never thought we'd get to the point where we would be buying like luxury items, enjoying a big summer blowout. Like I've raised kids look successfully and be good friends with them all. It felt very unattainable. And now look at us go. Literally. Oh, geez. Such some. Wow. Okay. And now look at us go. Look at us go. Things have definitely changed a lot. And I love our little mishmash family. They're all so, so adorable. Leela's growing up. We've got a new bubble of root coming with Celia. Such some sometimes isn't always sad, which I think is really nice. As long as he doesn't start laughing again, we'll be fine. And once we get our promotion at work today, we better get it. We better get it. We will be completely done with Ash's chapter. <gasps> and the little dollhouse is getting used again. This dollhouse has been used by four children. Four children in this household, which I think is really cute. And Sarah is absolutely adorable as well. Soft little baby angel child who is going to be a mini Sam. I can just tell mini Sam alert right there. And Leela enjoy Lila enjoying relaxing teenhood while it lasts because, oh my gosh, you're going to have to do so much study in your whole life. I kind of feel like even now you shouldn't be relaxed. In, but it is the weekend. I'm gonna allow it, okay? And also, our sister's here as well. Rachel's here. This is just a nice day. This is just all round a really nice day. Oh, and Lindsay's here. Suddenly, it's not such a nice day. Just go away, Lindsay. Just go away. <gasps> and I'm in the gold tick category. It's happening. Singing, path athletic, bodybuilder, aspiration, three field relationships, good friends with all your children, moving out every Sunday. Oh my gosh, this is literally it. It's about to happen. We're working till nine, but this is huge. Also, my actual probably favorite sim from the whole series traces here as well so that makes me so happy because he's very wholesome and sweet happy holidays ash are you surprised to see me here this is pamela pamela is pregnant i'm at work so i can't even see her right now but wow pamela's pregnant guys and married to Alejandro. Wow. Okay. I like keeping up with all the background characters just to see where they end up. <gasps> and he wants to go on a date. Ah! I don't even think you guys can go inside here because it's too exclusive. Nope. 
you're just here celebrity spotting, but the main thing is you're here together. And I should have finished work now. Did I get my promotion? I don't know because I'm on a date. I am literally on a date right now, so I can't tell. <gasps> I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. World competitor. Have a sim reach max level in the athlete career. Yes. I'm a Hall of Famer. I'm literally not there because I'm on a date with Branson, but we did it, guys. We finished every single one of Ash's not so very great generation goals. We're done. We did the whole thing and we're finished. And I'm going to finish things off on a really big high. I'm going to ask to be boyfriend. I genuinely did not see Brenton as being the one that would like settle down first, but he has. Brenton is now in a relationship with Archio and they are both absolutely adorable. I still think I'm saying his name wrong, but I think I'm probably going to move these, move Brenton out in the next episode because he's got his life together and it seems like he's in a very serious relationship. They're very serious about each other, which is wonderful. And Ash has completed her section of the Not So Berry. So this is the final episode of the Ash section of Not So Berry. We will be moving on to Plum, which is Leela in the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed Ash's journey, please go ahead and give this episode a big thumbs up. It's been a long journey for Ash, but I've really, really enjoyed playing as her. She's definitely had her struggles, but she's come out on top. So if you guys have enjoyed it too. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye!